Hi, this is Voight and Stu, and today I'm going to show you my new method of making dowels. This method is so simple and so easy to set up that I wouldn't do it any other way that after I discovered this way. I'm going to point out some things before I start up the saw, which is going to be loud, so you'll understand what's going on. This is a handmade chuck that I made to fit practically any size square. It'll turn this one. It'll turn this one just a little larger on that side. Now this blade is going in this direction. When I turn on the drill, it'll go counterclockwise. And the reason we want it to go counterclockwise is it's opposite the blade, number one, and number two, if we made it go in a clockwise direction, the screw that's holding my self-made chuck would tend to unscrew. So we run it counterclockwise for two purposes. Now this is a uh, radial arm saw, and you could do it with a table saw, it doesn't matter. Just have to think about which way the blades are going and which way you want to spin your, your stock. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to start it up with just a piece of wood. I don't have to carve down a tip. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that automatically with this jig. So, uh, put on my headphones and start her up. <clears throat> Incidentally, the blade is practically touching the wood. There's almost zero clearance. And by lowering the blade, I can make the uh, dowel a little smaller, that's a half an inch hole. Actually I want .440 as the final size which I've been able to adjust. So I could make a dowel anywhere from a half an inch down. I haven't tried going lower than .44 inches. And the other thing is the faster you, uh, you push the rougher it gets. So you can get a smooth uh, dowel if you go a little easier. So here goes. Ridiculous. It's so simple. Boyd Stewart.